Howdy folks, welcome to this episode of Vern's Misadventures. In this one, we've got a situation with CentOS 8, which we just installed, and we just did our post-installation work and all the fun stuff. Installed an update, and now I have a failure when it tries to boot. Let's get down here to CentOS 8 and try to get in here. Okay, so it start. It says starting switch root. That's the last thing it did successfully. And then it says failed to start switch root. See system control status for the details, right? So let's do this. System control status. And then rd switch dot service. So if you look here, it says fail to switch root, specified switch root path, sysroot does not seem to be an OS tree. OS release file is missing. So I did some research and this person here, this person says you can do it this way and fix it. So let's just try it. Okay, so I'm busy editing the movie you're watching right now and it occurs to me that I never did show you the, show the web page or anything else. So let me jump over here and take care of that little problem. Yeah, so this guy had the same problem where it failed to start switch root. And according to this Trevor H guy, he says you, all you have to do to rec recover from this is to do run these simple commands here. Basically, I'll run through what it is here. You're going to remount your sysroot directory. Uh, you're going to remount it as read and write because by default it's read only. So first you're going to do that. Then you're going to change directories into sysroot and etsy. Then you're going to echo just a blank, just an empty file into and you're going to call it OS release, right? It's because the complaint was that OS release was missing. So once that's finished, you're going to remount back to read only the sysroot directory, right? And then reboot the computer. Sounds simple enough. But as you as you're about to see, life isn't always that pretty. So this turned into a real misadventure. But we will fix it. <laughs> All right, back to the move. So we'll go mount dash o remount comma r w space slash this row. Okay, and we're going to change directory into this root. etc no such file or directory so let's go into cd into sysroot ls no no ls all right So now let's see here. Change directory into Etsy. And there's no such file or directory. So let's change directory. So let's see if we can just go into Etsy. If we look in our Etsy, we find. We find OS release is there. So then we can go to the next step, I guess, which go to echo quote unquote into OS release. Okay, so now we go mount O R remount R O this root and now it says we can reboot 
Let's see if that fixed it. There, enter. Specified switch root path. This root does not seem to have to be an OS tree. OS release file is missing. There's nothing in there. Remount with read write. I got you. This root. Now we can repeat the previous step. CD this root. Now we can echo this. Yeah, with that, now we mount O. Oh, I got you. Now we're going to mount it back as read only. Remount. Read only. Sys root. Then we're going to reboot. So now we'll have an OS release file in sys root and let's see if that makes the difference system control we only got a limited number of commands here that doesn't seem to be working this whole plan here There, but it's not there. Well, maybe that's enough. Let's try re. Oh, let's. See if any of that crazy stuff worked. So if you look when we did the ls it showed that there's a file called os release 
and yet when we try to access it to read it using the cat command which will allow us to read the contents of the file, it says no such file or directory. So I think we might just be stumbling onto a problem here. All right, so we have the OS release in Etsy within sysroot, like the guy's instructions said to do there, even though it wasn't originally in there, so I don't know exactly if it's looking for Etsy inside sysroot. So it's got an OS release file right inside sysroot. It also has an Etsy inside sysroot so it was just a, an error where somebody who was typing the script or whatever out forgot a directory or something and that might work because we've now copied etsy over to sysroot and within etsy was the os release file so i don't know but we will check so the next step is to uh, remount as read only sysroot so let's go mount dash o remount comma ro which is read only sysroot now we can reboot wonder how long we go on with this until such time as we just decide that this has failed. <laughs> restart counters at 198. Let's see what happens when we restart. Seems to be caught in a loop. Should have just left a blank file in there. Maybe it's invalid and that's what caused the issue. So let's change it to a blank one. Alright, so we were able to mount and access the logical volumes used by CentOS. All right, so it's a VG scan is what you do. So we'll run that and it found some volumes CL100. So from that we're gonna go sudo make directory. Now here we go. Now we'll change directories to mount CentOS root. Within here we have Etsy, so we'll change directory to Etsy. And there should be an OS release file in here somewhere. There it is. Let's look at the OS release file. I'm just going to comment all this out. It's easily changeable. This. So basically, if it's if it's blank, can work with it somehow. So with everything commented out, so it won't be an issue, we'll enter, control X, and uh, that should do it. We'll just exit. 
and restart. All right, so we have two goals here at this point. We're going to do two things. First, no, we don't need a tournament. We need Jeep Parted. Let's see, Jeep Parted. Devices, SDE. What we want to do is we want to get rid of this uh, SDE 14 here, and 10 as well, I believe. So we do that, and we remove, and delete that partition. And this one won't let you delete it because we have to deactivate it first. So this one here, and this one here, we can delete that. And so I'm wondering if maybe what has happened here is I've had some kind of conflict because I had these other these other partitions also slated as CentOS and maybe when it went to do an update and install things it found those and dumped things in there I don't, I don't know I'm grasping at straws here I have no idea what the hell but I don't think it's good to have that on there if they're not going to be used so they're going to be deleted we'll go ahead and apply those changes it says they're completed so close that and so now we just have some unallocated space here, 90 gigabytes worth. And so this uh, SDE 15, that's going to be its uh, boot for CentOS 8. And then over here, SDE 16, that's where its logical volumes are for its swap, home, and root. Now with that done, out of the way, now the next thing I want to do is I want to... I'm going to change the bootloader up here. So we made a few changes and changed them back just to make sure that it completely redid it. And with that, we go over here, we close, and then we try rebooting. Hmm, isn't that interesting? And then just like that, it works. How about that crap? Alright, so there's apparently one more thing we got to do here. So let's get this going. We got terminal. So plus. Alright, let's change directory to Etsy. And let's go ahead and have a look at OS release. Yeah, close. We'll just delete that one. Sudo remove OS release. And end. Him reinstall. Ah, gotcha. Bummer, I gotta type it all back out again.
Well, we'll see if it did any of it. We like OS release is gone, so we just have to do the yum install CentOS release. Extras, yeah, I guess so. Now I am curious if it generated an OS release file. It did. So let's cat OS release. Hot diggity, it worked. All right, so the next thing I want to know, I guess we want to update Grub again in OpenSUSE. There. And we go over here to Yast. We go over here to the bootloader. We'll repeat the previous steps. Switch this over to Grub for EFI, which I don't have set up that way. Then we'll switch it back. And then let's see here. Boot from master boot record, that's right. We want to write generic code. We also can boot from a partition. I wanted to have that available. But I don't think I've got it set up right, so it probably never worked, but it seems to work anyway. <laughs> so we'll leave that be. Let's see, bootloader options. I still want to use Windows 10, that's correct. So yeah, we should be good to go. And we go, okay. All right, with that, we close, Let's restart. Let me see if we can get back into CentOS again. Ah, see here? Now it says CentOS again in Grub, so that's a good thing. Let's see if it starts. Look at that, will you? So there you have it. So when I aborted an earlier attempt and it put those partitions, I think it created a problem for me when it went to do the update. We got rid of those and updated Grub and it was like, boom, lovely. So I don't know. Point is, <laughs> it works. Oh boy. Alrighty. Well, that'll be enough for this video, I'm sure. So, hopefully I'll be able to edit this to in a way that it makes some kind of sense. Well, thank you all for watching. And we fixed it. <laughs> Y'all take care.